Alison Rapp, who was, according to her LinkedIn, a product marketing specialist at Nintendo, has been fired. If you are a fan of Nintendo, you may well recognize her as one of Nintendo of America's public faces. What's really cool is that, so the stuff we're gonna be showing off today mm -hmm. here is actually exclusive-ish. Why was she fired? Uh, well, that's not exactly clear. Rapp said on Twitter that the issue was she's no longer seen as a good, safe representative, and went on a kinda little tweet rant about Mugamergate. People were spreading public statements of hers and parts of her thesis that touched on things like age of consent and decriminalization of possession of child pornography, stuff that might make fans of family-friendly company Nintendo a bit uncomfortable, regardless of nuance. This stuff reached the eyes of one of the co-founders of the Wayne Foundation, a charity that fights child exploitation, and they made a complaint to Nintendo. There was also some press coverage from such reputable outlets as The Mirror and Kotaku, and I think all that is what most people who've talked about this believe is likely to be the reason for her termination, which I think would actually be reasonable simply because she is PR. They're giving her money to make them look good, and her employment brings association with child pornography. You know, you can't go, this is unfair, and it's nothing to do with what she does. There's all this hate, but she's the best damn programmer, artist, or whatever. Nope, there is no but there when your job is image. You give someone money to look good and make you look good, and they do the opposite. Why would you, why should you continue to pay them? If she had been in a different role, I'd likely be arguing differently. However, having said all that, defending that reason might be pointless, and I won't elaborate on my point any further because in a statement made to IGN, a representative of Nintendo has said that her termination has nothing to do with any of that controversy and is instead about her violating policy regarding holding a second job that is in conflict with Nintendo's corporate culture. And Rap has confirmed that she was doing something, which we might be getting back to later, but I personally suspect the controversy has something to do with it, but I doubt we can ever be certain. Now, I, th I think I've been uh, responsible, I've, I've laid things out, and I think I've been fair. You get what's going on, so let's have some fun. Let me tell you why I, if I were a higher up at Nintendo, would have fired Alison Rapp. And I'm going to need you to use your imagination. Pretend you are in a position of power at a family entertainment company. Maybe you make toys or electronic gadgets or whatever. You hire me to be a representative. And I do presentations, I do interviews, there are video clips of me talking to kids and showing off the product. My name is known, my face is known. People know I do your marketing. My social media is known and in the bio of my social media I link to your stuff and say that I'm an employee of yours. And then, via that social media account, I publish a teaser for a saucy or lightly smutty photo set I've made of myself that incorporates some of your family-friendly company's products. I do your marketing and I use your products to market my body. And I tell everyone that I want to sell these photos. So uh, yeah, this is a business thing for me and it's totally public. Like, maybe you sell Beyblade style spinning tops. And on my account that everyone knows is my account and links to your company's stuff, I start posting photos of like me shoving a Beyblade onto my crotch or something. <laughs> and I say underneath it something like, saucier photos to come. Would you be happy with and would you have uh, confidence in me as a marketer for your kiddie focused family friendly brand? I suspect not. And something like that has happened. In her uh, public Twitter bio, Alison Rapp notes her relationship with Nintendo of America. And uh, people know it's her account anyway, they know who she is. And a little while ago, she published some interesting photographs. Hi yes, here are a couple teasers from a recent shoot I did. I hope you like. These are probably the least saucy pics from the entire shoot, so enjoy the purity while it lasts. Nice photos, right? But what's that? Looks like some kind of DS. Under that post, she also includes what she calls a saucier shot and asks for advice on where to sell her pictures. Ooh. And someone just sent me another photo she posted with a DS. Another teaser, so you know, advertising. For the full thing, which she said on February 23rd she would try to make available as prints after her vacation. 
And as recently as the 25th, she was talking about getting a photo shoot up for sale. So, uh, yeah, when a marketer for Nintendo is posting photos with Nintendo products publicly on their social media that links to Nintendo of America's account and intending to sell them, and they might not really represent what Nintendo wants an association with, overall at least, because I mean, I know they published Bayonetta and they had that thing with Playboy, but that was its own thing, and it was on Playboy's Facebook page, and it was, of course, official, just in case anyone's going to bring that up. When PR or marketing is doing what I described, there might be an issue. Anyway, let's finish my point off, let's bring this back in. If I'd hired someone to market and present stuff I was selling, and they went ahead and publicly meshed my stuff into whatever else they're doing, with that official connection there behind that combination, I would be fucking pissed and I would want to get rid of them. And I mean just please think about it one more time. A Nintendo marketer selling sexy images they've made with Nintendo products as props. You know, just slyly on the side because they're not making enough. I can just imagine it. Hey, you want the real Nintendo experience? <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck out of it. It's like a bad joke. But, as usual, that's just another one of my harmful opinions.